Hi, I've got a quick little video for you today. I want to show you an interesting thing I made with highs. Someone on the forum, one of our forum members, sent me a message and he had a situation. He wants to create a sample library where he's got 1000 sample maps and each sample map has a single sample mapped to the key C. So 1000 samples, 1000 sample maps. And he wanted to know a quicker way to do it because he didn't want to have to create all these 1000 sample maps by hand and drag each sample in and name the sample map and everything. So he asked me at first if I knew of a text editor that could speed up the process. And uh, I suggested Atom because Atom can do that, also Sublime Text. Um, uh, but then I thought, no, he, he could do this with like a batch script. So I pointed him to some resources for writing batch scripts. And then I had another brainwave. I thought, no, wait a minute, we don't need to do that. Hives can do it. We can actually use Hives to do this batch process. So I wrote a little script for him, and that's what I'm going to share with you, because I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that would find this kind of thing useful. So let me show you how it works. So we don't need to see anything over here, so I'm just going to get that out of the way. So we've got a bit more room to work. So we've got a simple interface with two buttons. And what I've done before this is I've created a folder and I've just put it in my downloads folder, but this will probably be the sample maps folder in your project file, but you can do it wherever you want. So you just need a folder and in here you need a template. So this is the template that's going to be used as the sample map. So I'll just open that in a text editor and we can have a look what's in here. So it's just a, a basic sample map uh, layout. And for the ID, you can see I've put this little um, token here, which I call it a token. It's going to be something that's picked up by our script. And it's just got um, a percent sign at the beginning, then it says sample map ID, then another percent sign. And the other things I've done is because he wanted the samples all mapped to middle C, we've got the root note set to 60 and the low key and the high key set to 60, low velocity set to zero and high velocity set to 127. If you want to adjust that, you can adjust that. And then finally, we've got the file name, which is the project folder token. And if you wanted a subfolder in here, if your samples, let's say they were kick drums, you might have kicks, um, but you'd probably spell it correctly, unlike me. So you can adjust this again if you're dealing with subfolders. But we were just leaving them in the projects, uh, the project folders, samples folder. And then we have another one of these, what I'm calling tokens, where we've got a percent sign, sample name, and then another percent sign. Now, the reason I've done it with percent signs at the beginning and end is just because that's something that's not going to appear in a file name for an actual sample. So this we know is going to be unique. And then when we look in this file through our script, we can look for these things that start and end with percent signs and have these names and uh, replace them. So let's close this. So this is the script It's very simple. Um, I'm not really going to go into too much detail here, uh, but let's have a quick look at it. Let's just get rid of the UI. So we've got two buttons on our interface. We've got this one that's called BTN template. And then we've got this one called BTN run. So the BTN template one, all that does is it opens a file browser and it asks you to select a file. And the file you've got to select, of course, is that template XML we were looking at. And then it will read the contents of the file. You can see here we're loading it as a string into this variable called template, which is declared up here. And it will also store the path to that file. So the folder you've put that file in, it will store that in this variable called dir. So that's what we're doing there. So that gives us the contents of the XML file and the folder in which that file lives. And then the run button, so that's, uh, this one here. So when you click that, it will run through a loop and you can see I've got it set to a thousand because he wanted a thousand sample maps and it will create a new child file. So it'll create a new XML file and he wanted them to be called AGG dash and then the number of the file. So AGG dash zero, AGG dash one, etc. Actually, we were starting from one with this, I remember now. Um, so yeah, agg dash whatever number dot xml. So it creates a new file and it creates it inside the same directory. So again, it's that variable we're storing the directory in. And then it creates a copy of our template text, which is stored in the template variable. So it creates a copy of that variable called copy and it replaces the sample map ID with 
agg dash and then the number so the same as the sample map name and then we do another replace here for the sample name so this was the sample map id this is the sample name and again he was using the same format so he had agg dash a number and then dot wave uh, we're not adding the wav in here because if we look in the template again the wav is outside of the token so a percent sign and then wav so we don't need to add wav in the script so if you're using this script and you want to change this so you don't want them all to be called agg you just change these little tokens here to whatever you want um, there's no sort of error checking in this script to make sure you've actually selected an xml and whatnot because this is just a, a simple single purpose script so i didn't bother doing any error checking so just be sensible and use the script correctly as it's intended and uh, it should be fine so instead of outputting a thousand sample maps here i'm just going to output 10 just for this demonstration so i'll hit f5 compile that and oh yeah i should say after it's um replaced those tokens it then writes that uh writes to the new file f it writes that file and it writes the contents that um we've uh, modified so now if i go select template i go to my downloads folder sample maps and i'm going to select this template file hit ok and now i click run and now if i open up that folder we now have 10 of them numbered from 1 to 10 and we can open one of these up and we can see the sample map id matches the sample map name and the sample name has been changed as well so i assume this will be useful to quite a few of you because i know that a lot of you are doing this kind of thing where you're just using one sample per sample map so i expect that this is something that uh, will save you some time you can modify this if you need to add new tokens hopefully you can sort of see how you do that and then you just run the replace command basically to replace the token with whatever text you want and uh, you can make this as simple or as complicated as you need to so i'll post this snippet along with the video on patreon if you've got any questions or comments let me know thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time